Father, open our eyes to see and let your word be a blessing to our souls in the name of Jesus. Briefly, I want to open our eyes to a revelation from the scripture. Now, many things happen before the foundations of this world. For any time you hear the word before the foundations of this world, it means before God created the earth. Are you with me? That's the meaning. So when you hear before the foundation of this world, it means before God created the earth. Now the Bible revealed that God has loved us before the foundation of the, of the world. Meaning even before God created earth, God has loved us. There are certain things that have been perfected before the foundation of the earth, before the earth was created. Are you there? That the creation of the earth was only playing out the realities of those things that has been concluded before the earth was created. So many things we see happening when the earth was created is just a script that has been written before the earth was created. So many things we see now are scripts being acted. And those scripts were written even before the foundation of the earth, before the foundation of the world. Are you with me? Let me show you something very powerful. Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names were not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Now, the question is, who was the Lamb? Who is this lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world? The lamb is Jesus. That means Jesus actually died for our sins before the head was created. So the creation of this head is just to play out those scripts that have been written before the foundation of the head. So Jesus did not die in the book of Matthew. He had died before Genesis was written. He had died before the beginning of the world. So those things you see happening are just the script written from the foundation of the world. Are you with me? This will mean that if we go back to the book of Genesis, are you there? If we go back to the to the to the to the book of Genesis, if we study the life of Adam and Eve in the garden, we discover they fell. And when they fell, they had to leave the garden. Now, they did not fall. Their falling did not start in the garden. They had fallen since, even before the garden was created. So God only brought the garden to act out how they fell. So that, you know, it will not be reasonable for man to, to exist and just having the knowledge that we fell without knowing how we fell. So in order to explain the fall of man, which had happened from the beginning of the world, from the foundation of the world, God now created a garden. So that garden was God's way of explaining the fall of man, which had already happened before the foundation of the earth. Meanwhile, Jesus had died before the foundation of the world, meaning that before the earth was created, Jesus had died for the sins of humanity. Are you there? Because God knew that man would fall. So the fall of man was not a news to God. It was not a surprise to God. The garden was only created to act out the reality of the fall that has existed even before the earth. And that was why God had, that was why Jesus had died for the sins of humanity before the earth was created. The reason Jesus died for the sins before the earth was created was because man had fallen even before the earth was created. Are you there? Those are mysteries that are hidden in God. That you can't really press too deeper, too, too deep into them, except God gives you, you know, a permission. Are you, are you with me? So I want us to understand that many things happened before the foundation of the earth. So, and what we see now is just a kind, a kind of outplay, is, 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 a, is a kind of script being played are you there the garden of eden was brought up by god to explain how man fell it was not that it was in the garden that 
the just fell and everything became so new to God. God was surprised that they fell. No. God brought up the garden to act out how man fell. So that every man will know how they fell. And by knowing how they fell, they will know how not to fall. Because if you don't know how to fall, you may never know how not to fall. If you don't know how to fall, you won't know how to stand. So God explained, God showed man how they fell so that it, he can teach them how to stand. God showed man how they fell using the Garden of Eden. God taught man how to stand using Jesus. Are you seeing it? God showed man how they fell using the Garden of Eden. And God taught man how to stand using Jesus. So the Bible says, looking unto Jesus. That is our model for how to stand. That is the person we need to look at in order to stand. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So Jesus did not die in the book of Matthew. He had died before even the scriptures, before the scriptures were before the scriptures were written, Jesus had died. So all those things you see in the scripture are just, you know, a script being acted. And this script has been written from the foundation of this world. I hope this revelation is, is useful to you. God bless you. In Jesus' name.